the Royal Society was founded in 1660, and for the first 285 years, it was a place exclusively for men. Finally, in 1945, Kathleen Lonsdale and Marjorie Stevenson became the first two female fellows. Certificate of a candidate for election. And they've crossed out him. <laughs> it shows that they were pioneers. Absolutely, yes. Kathleen Lonsdale was a key member of the world's leading X-ray crystallography department. Kathleen Lonsdale could look at this photograph and she could tell you the whole history of the crystal. This was something that she was a master at. And it's also amazing that she can come from such a financially deprived background and somehow push to do the subject she knows she's good at. I remember for nearly 50 years ago, my headmistress told me I was a perfect fool to want to take physics because it was a man's field. Marjorie Stevenson, what she achieved was extraordinary. She transformed, really, biochemistry in general. All genetics today, I think, can go back to being inspired by Stevenson. A phenomenal woman. At Newnham, women could study but were not awarded degrees. It's an all women college. The biochemistry department wouldn't let women into the labs. It's tremendous. These young men fuss about their reputations as if they were aging virgins in a victim. Victorian novel. Isn't that brilliant? Why are there so few eminent women scientists? No person shall be refused admission to the laboratory by reason of his or her nationality or sex. Sometimes I hear people say you need to see it to be it. The thing is with women in science is that we don't really know much about them. Something that we're just not taught at school is the contribution of women in STEM. There must have been some pretty incredible women that just haven't got the recognition that they should have. It's quite daunting being a woman in a, in a male industry. There are the stories out there, you've got to find them sometimes. And don't you forget that you can make that difference too. The opportunities will come if I work hard because the opportunities have been created by the women before me. They've opened up the doors so that I can walk through.